Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day, we're checking the clock, seven, I think, of the Code May Daddy Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, I am now walking in a random neighborhood in Helsinki. Uh, maybe I should have done this on a ferry. In any case, I'm in Helsinki. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know, I didn't really do anything at a, at a, at a super recognizable location today or even cool. Uh, I just kind of, I didn't even eat a lot. I was going to say I ate a lot, but anyway, all right, listen, I'm in Helsinki. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let's get to the forum now. Uh, yeah, uh, I am in Helsinki here in Finland. Uh, hopefully today I am going to do something. Be last Yesterday I was w walking around the city and just, I don't know, forgot until the very end of her, apparently. Um, yeah, um, let's take a look at, let's take a look at today's farm. We have day seven of Lico May Challenge. Hit the, all the buttons. Why not? Hopefully you enjoy it. And my internet here is actually not as fast as I was in, uh, Estonia or, um, or Latvia or any, I, I don't know why, but, uh, either way, let's take a look. We have 3341, find minimum time to reach last room one. There's a dungeon, okay. There's a grid dungeon, move time. Minimum seconds, you're starting to move that room. What percent? Okay, let me read that again, actually. I'm trying to read it fast, but maybe sometimes when you read fast, remember, it's the same as solving a problem in that way, right? When you read too fast, you have to do it again. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Move time represents the minimum time when you start moving into that room. You start the room from the do do do. Moving exactly one second. Okay. Um, so basically it looks like the minimum, uh, I mean, th this is an off by one, whether you can move to an adjacent room or move from an adjacent room. But basically you have like uh, a barrier in which uh, you're trying to get from corner to corner. And and yeah, um, this is just going to be a shortest path problem, right? I think... Yeah, I mean, that, that's the only thing about it. It's the shortest path problem, and that's it, right? It's the shortest path problem. Uh, the only trick is that the cost function is different, right? Because the cost is either one second or the time it takes to um, to start moving to that room, right? And as a result, that should be good. And and as a result, also there's Dijkstra. Um, I'm not going to go with Daisho too deeply, but I would always have to point out because it happens quite a bit is that it is easy to mess up, right? Uh, and we'll go, we'll point out what I mean in a second uh, with the heap that I think you do a lot, right? So let's, let's implement this real quick. Uh, okay, what am I doing? Okay, right, so we have a heap, right? We have... A little bit rusty actually. Zero, 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 right? So this is the distance x, y, right? And then while length of. Uh, we also have to set up um, like the current best, I think. Hmm. Something like this, right? So this is just the setup. And I don't think I'm doing anything outside of the ordinary uh, dexterous algorithm yet. So uh, I'll let you know when I do. But but a dexterous, alg dexterous algorithm, you definitely need to know it. Um, it is, you know, for for interviews, for competitive, whatever it is. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just like a very, very fundamental thing at this point. And anytime you have a shortest path problem, um, it's... It's gonna come up. Like it may obviously it might not be the solution, and there are other shortest path problems, but that's like one of the main ones, right? <clears throat> um, yeah. Okay. Is you go to hip q dot hip hop of hip. Every time I say hip hop, I I feel like I'm saying hip hop, like the music genre. But yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah. So this is the part that you have to do, right? So do 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 do. If best is greater than d, oh the other way, right? Sorry. 
uh, if D is greater than that, then we continue. And the reason why I want to skip it is because we're doing a lazy version of the heap. Uh, I'm not going to go in deep in detail for this video just because I probably went, because this is a very recent problem. Uh, I probably went over it during the contest video, which is like, uh, only like half a year ago. So definitely check that video. Um, I, I think it's recent enough that I put emphasis on it. Um, and the reason why I don't want to spend too much time on it is because I'm in Helsinki, I'm getting ready to, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> have a good time, if you will. So, um, yeah. Okay. Uh, for the X, D, Y in directions. But just know that, uh, you know, you have to remember that part. Um, and, and also learn why. I'm not explaining why in this video, but you should be, um, yeah. This table is also like a little bit wobbly, so I don't know if like my head is spinning as I'm typing it. Oh, my camera head, not my actual head. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, and then the cost function is going to be, um, what is it going to be, right? So it's going to be max of either d plus one or uh, move time of nx and y, right? Uh, I'm I'm just reading it, double checking that um I'm not off by one. I mean, if I'm off by one, this is easy fix for that particular part. Because is that move time n x and y or move time n x and y plus one or something like? Because you have to move from middle. I don't know, right? Um, yeah. And then now, now we just set it if it is bigger. And then we hit push it. Uh, I should. Okay, let's just write. Uh, this is what happens when you copy and paste too much. Um, and the reason sometimes is that you don't want to do it outside the if statement is because. Um, I mean, you can also do layered if statement, or you could use the Walrus operators, probably the most reasonable thing. But I'm, I'm not a f super fan of Walrus operators, it's just a little bit wonky to read. But the reason is because uh, this may filter out the need to do this, but eh, it, maybe it's fine. Maybe that's too much of an optimization. Premature optimization, especially. Uh, yeah, and you can always get there, right? So yeah, just double check. Oops. Um, and that should be good, hopefully. Otherwise, then I'm just sad. And now I am sad. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, I mean, that's why I was saying, right, that you have to do this check. Um, yeah, okay, fine. And we just nest it a little bit. Right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> hmm. So, yeah, so now... Yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, this is the off by one part, right? Um, is this plus one because it takes you one second to move, start moving through it and then going to it? Not a, you know, I mean, it's one of those things where uh, when you're aware of it, when you're aware of how you might have misread it, then you can see what I did, right? Which is that I'm like, oh, maybe this is a little bit off by one and I could test it both ways. And when you have minor changes like that and just a lot of practice um this will be fine and yeah 1863 day streak i am in helsinki that is all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching i mean the complexity is just a standard dice so i'm not gonna go i don't know right it is yeah thanks for watching stay good stay healthy to your mental health i'll see y'all later and take care bye bye